This review is going to be on Generation Select, number 19, Autobot, Rotor Storm. And I gotta say, just getting them out of the box and getting them in Cybertronian helicopter mode, he looks amazing. And I gotta say, the yellow guns, the detail on them, just make this figure pop. I'm not a big fan of this kind of color yellow. Sometimes I am, sometimes I'm not, but with this blue, the Scion Seafoam Green, we got red for the cockpit windows, we got silver, we got this dark blue, then we're changing the light blue, then we got pink, this guy's all sorts of colors, but for some reason, it works. This guy actually works. And I gotta say, the tail rotor, even that thing has de molded detail on there and it really stands out and pops. You got detail here on the rest of the, the tail here for the helicopter. Nice ridges right there, it's pretty cool. Some mechanical molded detail there, painted. Silver, little tie in there. We got the five millimeter ports, two here, and then we obviously got the one connects to this. And then we got two up here, which if you're using the rotor, that's going to block. And then we flip over to the other side. We're going to have two more 5mm ports. Same goes for where this weapon is connected. That's another port right there. And the undercarriage. We have in our cockpit. But it's not used for that. It's just for show. Just to cover up the bottom. And I'll explain a little bit more in that in the transformation. But with that being said... That's all I really got for helicopter mode at this moment. So let's get a uh, comparison with his mold mate. And here we have Transformers Siege Spinister next to our Rotor Storm. And I gotta say, these two guys next to each other are really cool. Really happy that I was able to get Rotor Storm pretty early while I already had Spinister. And just to let you know, he does look a lot different because I have upgrade kits on Spinister uh, between Ratchet Studios and Matrix Workshop. So that's why he's going to look a little bit more armed up. But it doesn't take anything away from Rotorstorm and what he brings to the table. And eventually there is going to be an upgrade kit. I believe it's going to be from Matrix Workshop. It was already uh, announced on... TFW2005.com, so just go take a look over there. Be able to see the uh, pictures of what kind of upgrade he's going to get, because it's going to be a lot different than what we got for Spinister, which I'm really excited for. So, that's really it for the comparisons, other than let's just kind of turn them if we can, get them in there on a side view, just to show them off, and they look really, really cool together, even though they're separate factions, but... For this review, it's okay. But that's all I really got. So let's get let's get Rotor Storm transformed and take a look at his robot mode. Okay, let's start the transformation. And I just one little side note, real quick. Forgot to mention the landing gear here that Rotor Storm even has just like uh, his mold mate spinister. So it does help hold it up like that. It's a nice little touch. So we're just going to fold that in. And that's just also to let you know that this is the leg, well, this is the cockpit, which is also his leg, to make sure you use this one instead of this one to be in the undercarriage. So I just wanted to make that little mention there, real simple. So we're just going to start here. I'm going to take both weapons off. Just set them to the side, just don't need them right now. No big deal there. So then you're going to come over right here. You're going to untab this piece from here and it also locks in down here which is pretty cool and you just do the same thing over here real simple you're going to be able to free his arms up which is really cool then that's going to free this up and you're just going to bend that back just a little bit you're going to bring this one forward then okay and you're going to keep the propeller out of the way as best as you can sometimes it just doesn't want to cooperate and then you're going to fold that unfold that a little bit but then you got to come back here remove that and extend his leg out just like that and I'm going to turn this is going to fold this down cover that gap up and then come over to his leg bend that and there you go 
okay sometimes these joints especially in this one it, it just gets really stiff so so that one's uh, resolved so you got one leg you got this weird looking transformer right now no big deal so now since you freed that up that's gonna free this leg up right here that's gonna untab that for you because that leg tucks under there and this has to fold behind it and close to get the transformation right so we already got rid of that part that kind of helps remove that so then you're gonna come over excuse me and we're gonna turn untab that that's gonna free his foot up turn it around and then tuck it under just like that okay real simple so now we have his feet so now we're gonna turn his thighs turn his legs okay now we're gonna readjust the camera here because he's getting taller he's taller than a regular standard deluxe figure so just make sure he stands up and now we see rotor storms head which is pretty cool readjust one more time there so now we're gonna free his arms just to make it real easy on us these arms right here untab that tab there goes right in I'm sorry this tab here goes in right there in that hole right there that's why that locks in like that so that's okay no biggie there and you're just gonna do the same thing untab that very simple come to the back untab that mine already came a little loose so it already untapped no big deal now you're gonna take the tail wing pop that right there okay keep this back and as you're folding it in you're gonna reveal its chest this whole piece is on a hinge right here and just you just you just go with it you just kind of carry it his head will stay there so you don't have to worry about losing it behind him or something like that getting a little weird and that's gonna lock in okay I'm gonna do that one more time just so you guys can see that okay just like that locks in bring this in this is gonna lock in okay and then I lock that in and that last piece there's a piece of the tail wing right here it's gonna go in that hole there let's go right there then you're gonna take the rotors and you're just gonna fold them up and then impress on it and once you got that and it should lock it in so it keeps them from moving on my copy I noticed that mine are a little bit more loose than spinisters you know on rotor storm here but that's okay um, overall I think it stays there and mine's gonna be on the shelf just like that so there we have rotor storm in robot mode so let's add his weapons here just like that okay let's take a look at the figure and I gotta say this guy looks amazing and his face sculpt is different from spinisters this is the face based off his IDW appearance which is really cool I'm glad they did that instead of going for a, a spinister repaint face so we have some changes that we need you know so not everything looks the same like it's not a another reflector or refractor or scrap face that so they all look the same you know but this guy looks awesome the detail on his chest all these colors, all these odd colors, they just complement each other. He's all over the place with color, but it just, it works. I really like the legs, how they match up, I like how they, they were able to do that for the transformation. And uh, let's go over some, uh, see how flexible he can be. Let's see, he has double hinged elbows, so we know he's got more than 90 degrees there, which is fantastic. Um, he does have good uh, shoulder range and motion he can go pretty much all the way around just got to watch the propellers um, he can kick forward does have 90 degree eh, it's a little bit more than 90 degrees but he's got that um, let's see can he do the splits yeah he can do the splits that's pretty impressive for this guy yeah there's my piece is starting to get loose there and then he does have ankle tilt due to the transformation and everything so I gotta say this guy looks awesome and his head is on a ball joint. I'm not going to turn it all the way around because we got this here. But it, I think it can if you really tried. Yeah, you can. Uh, waist rotation? Yeah, he does. And he does have thigh swivel here, which is great. 
And does he have hand? Yep, he does have a wrist swivel here. Bicep rotation here, yep. So he has all that. Seems like a really good, perfect figure. So, let's compare him. And here we have Rotor Storm next to Siege Spinister in robot mode. And I gotta say, between the comparisons, I think these guys are great. I know they're on different factions, but they look great together. You got Spinister with the yellow eyes, while we got Rotor Storm with these pink sunglasses, and he has that silver face instead. I really like how they changed this head sculpt. And they got the blue blue outside here. It really matches. Pink here, here, you know, and they got that light blue. I'm surprised they didn't go dark blue with that, but hey, that's okay. I'm I'm okay with them changing it up and kind of keeping his appearance the same from IDW as best as they can. So, I call this a win. So that's all I got from the comparison, other than we can bring in some other bots. And now we have Rotor Storm next to Optimus Prime, Siege, and also Prowl from the Siege line. And I just wanted to show what a normal size deluxe would look like right next to the Rotor Storm here. And we have Voyager class right next to him. And I think the, these three guys together even look more awesome. This guy is definitely somebody that you don't want to miss out on if you're a big collector. I highly recommend. I'm glad I got him in my collection. And I don't really have anything else to say. So like and subscribe. And I'll see you on the next review.